Say hello to the puppy and then say hello to my favorite Halloween decor I think I've ever made. If you guys have been following my channel, you know last year I made these pumpkins at like the 11th hour and I was obsessed with how easy they were. Well this year, as I was getting ready to dive into Halloween, I thought we can do more and we did. This laughing, funny, just kind of jovial Halloween is so refreshing for somebody like me and maybe like you who isn't crazy about the scary, gory, creepy Halloween, but you still want that fun festive vibe. That's what this look is all about. I can't even explain. Like, it boggles my mind at how easy this is to make. If you have this table arch already from some of the other tutorials or want to make one, that you're going to make this whole thing in less than an hour. Guaranteed it. But can we just take a minute to appreciate how nice it looks in the dark? Okay, this video I'll show you the overview, but please note the tutorial on how to make the pumpkins is already made in a video from last year. I'll make sure all the links are in the right normal places, but this is just going to show you how to make the whole look. So it starts. It's cloudy out, so there's some overcast, which makes me kind of feel like fall because it's a million degrees here in Florida. But I have my copper arch ready to go. I had started taking out the garland. I guess we're calling it a garland. I don't know. It feels weird calling it a garland when it's like this. I really like this stuff because it has obviously like you're seeing some light reflection on it but really it's pretty matte finish when you think like especially especially compared to like my tinsel tree over here what i want you guys to notice is this is the middle of my table the middle of the copper bar so i put a zip tie there because given the size of my table which will vary based on your all, you know, what you're making, your table size, you know, if you're turning this into a buffet, whatever. I got to the middle of my bar and I put that zip tie there. And that way I know because these are about nine foot-ish garlands, I don't really want to have the garland just kind of end at the corner and like kind of have like a weird, like, I don't know, droop. So I... I mean, like, that's a personal choice, but I want to point this out now before we get too far into it, because if you're planning on doing this, I recommend whether you normally would like to or not, at least putting some garland part of the way down these support poles. With that being said, when you lay out your garland and you flatten it out and maybe you want to fluff it out here, maybe you want to fluff it out here. Personally, I'm not fluffing it out on the floor because I want to have it easy to install and then I can fluff it out on the pole while I'm working in the other elements. But I am planning on putting the end of one of my garlands right here and then working my way out. And then I'll put the other one right next to it and working my way out because at the end of the day, you want that focal center portion of it where you know is it's the center of the look you want that to be on point because if it's not it's gonna just i don't say deteriorate the whole look and distract from the whole look but like let's be honest we're going through all of this work you want it to look good so start in the middle and work your way out i'll show you as i make progress so that middle spot that we put the zip tie on, that's where we want the two garlands that have come together, which I left the tag on on the end of one so we knew where it was. We want to line that up. And to make sure everything's symmetrical, we're going to start from the middle and work our way out, incrementally adding zip ties in. Now, I like to do them fairly proportionately just so you don't have any sag or anything your call and, and judgment on how far you want to space those out. Now you will see that I do have some black lights and some electrical work in here and I'm not going to give any spoilers away but I have another project that I'm working on that I wanted that to be already installed on. 
So I want you to see that it's okay if the garland doesn't wrap all the way to the bottom. It's just important that it has lots of secure zip ties. I have some on both sides of the corner joint just for optimal security. You just don't want it slipping off and, and losing its shape. Now, if you've noticed, I've got I don't know, maybe six, eight inches between each zip tie, and that's really just to keep it from sagging. If you are running electrical, which you definitely don't need for this project, but let's say you wanted to add some string lights into this mix with the pumpkins, you can wrap it into the garland much better. I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about with the fishing line. So we have the fishing line going on this side, coming out on the inside, going through the other side, and out the exterior what happens is, is you tie a knot at the end and if you just pull it there's just one sh thin string you can see in the middle down there hanging up here but if you look closely in here there's two strings on each side and that's partially just because not that I think this fishing line couldn't handle it but because these candles are you know not the lightest thing in the world I would feel better having two sets of support on the side. So what happens is, you can see this string that's in here. You just go in and you scoop it up and you pull it up and then the two of them are up here and you're gonna end up just taking your zip tie through them and zip tying the knot up at the top. And that's all you gotta do. Super, super easy. Just some tips while I'm hanging these, they are not, they're not all hung 100% yet, but a couple things. One, I leave the tips of the zip ties up, so at the end, I can go through and just trim all of them as needed and then fluff the area. But if you'll notice, I'm this one's a little bit lower than this one, and that's because I haven't tightened it yet, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. So because you're using zip ties and you know, you're hopefully you're measuring, trying to make sure they're all proportionate. What I like to do is slip the zip tie in, but not completely tighten it. So like this, because between the cable that I have running through here for some other stuff and the garland and then the garland support zip ties that are all in here. If you're trying to wedge, you know, your scissors or your box cutter in there to cut these and, and you're, you know, you're not 100% done and like maybe you just need to move it over a section, it's hard to do. So it's easy and I recommend um, that you just put them on loosely like this and then that way you can take a step back and go, okay, you know, this needs to move over or, you know, whatever you need to, to do uh, to get them perfect. So that's one tip. And then another tip is make it a good advantage, take advantage of all of these wire uh, garland pieces if you're using the garland, because like, especially over here, because I have the garland spiraling down the side, I can use the garland to kind of frame the pumpkin a little bit and keep it from moving too much. Not that it will when the candle's in there, but you know, you want to make sure like this guy's kind of rotating a little bit. So we want to keep him straight. So what we might do is, you know, in a minute, I might go in and like kind of fuss with this part here to make sure the garland isn't pulling on it and make sure it's keeping it nice and straight because that's the whole reason we're using the zip ties, you know, so that that way when it's hanging, it's, it's creating a good angle for us to enjoy the jack-o'-lanterns as much as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that one up. Candles are ready to go. I have LED candles that have a little beeper controller. So it's just as simple as throwing these in. And it's daytime, albeit overcast, but it is daytime. So I don't think they'll show up as good, but you can tell there's a lot more tension on the cord than there was before so that's why I really wanted to have the double string support in here if you don't already have these LED candles I highly recommend them if you've seen any of my other videos I use them as often as possible because they're just such a good use uh, they're nice natural lighting and right now with the the sun out you can't really see as much but when the lights are out and everything's all done up it's gonna look really cool so here it is, daylight, 
fairly sunny day here in Florida. I have a little bit of filter on the the light, you know, on the on the left. So it's not a direct sun, but it looks pretty pretty nice actually during the day if you wanted to do a daytime Halloween something with the kids. Here's a close up of the fishing line work with the candle in the middle just so you can see it's such a fun thing to do and look you just boop the pumpkins and they're so light it, you know they they wobble a little bit and then when you stand back look it looks like you have laughing little smiley happy pumpkins nothing creepy scary just fun cute jack-o-lanterns all right guys so here's what it looks like at night with my tinsel tree in the background, just kind of adding some ambient light in. Something you might see in your home if you recreated this yourself. Now, obviously, I did a table look and I did my mantle up um, on the beam up there, but it produces a lot of light. And with no other lights on in the house, look at how much light it produces with all of those LED candles. I mean, this is amazing. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said earlier, I'll have a tutorial already posted from years ago on how to make the table arch and from last year on how to make the jack-o'-lanterns, but spoiler alert, dollar pumpkins from Target, Walmart, wherever, and then felt with the sticker adhesive on the back. You trace your shapes and you cut them out and you stick them on like a sticker. So incredibly easy. All right, guys, enjoy this. Stay tuned for more holiday videos coming up.